Welcome back to the second OER World Congress and our little series about how does OER look like around the world. And uh, I'm very happy that we have a guest from Bangladesh now. And uh, this is Professor Mustafa Azad Kamal. He's the Dean of the School of Business at Bangladesh's Open University. Thank you for taking your time. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, yes, uh, in Bangladesh, actually, uh, we are using a uh, lot of contents. So all are created by our faculty members and some contents are created abroad. So we are using the textbooks written by uh, European and American writers. So that the most important thing is uh, the students usually. I, a recent study says that uh, 76 to 78 percent students doesn't have access to the uh, uh, original textbooks. So they have to use the the photocopies. So that's why uh, the Bangladesh government, they are going to undertake a policy, which is called National OER Policy 2017. So it is going to be approved. And we are thinking to uh, create OER and also use the existing OER all over the world. So this is the plan of Bangladesh government. And we have some national portals. So we have a lot of contents uploaded into the portal. Uh, these are created by the educators, the students at different levels, especially the university students. But the problem is all are uh, copyrighted. So you cannot uh, reuse it, you cannot remix it, so you cannot redistribute it. So that's why we are planning to uh, put a license on it so that all the, the, the learners or educators can customize these things at their own, uh, 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 according to their own needs. Mm -hmm. So that is what we are uh, trying to do okay. in Bangladesh. And do educators already know about OER or do you have to do a lot of uh, awareness raising and uh, explaining what OER is about? Yes, this is a big question because uh, awareness build-up is very essential because capacity is very low in this sense. Uh, actually, what the, the educators uh, think of OER, they think that something online mm -hmm. is OER. So they don't care about the copyrights. If something found online, they download it and use it for the students. So we need a lot of capacity building and awareness building uh, 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 activities to make them aware of all these things. Otherwise, uh, so it will be difficult to implement OER, actually. You said there already is a lot of material which is not open. Yeah. And do you also plan to redefine uh, existing material to OER or only make new material as OER? Uh, we have the existing materials. So you can say uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, 200,000 plus contents. These are small contents, not uh, uh, aligned with the courses, but these are can be used for in different courses for the students, especially secondary, higher secondary levels. So now we are thinking that all these contents should be OER, and we are planning to uh, develop the new contents because this is a continuous process. So the, all the teachers of the country, they're putting their contents on uh, this platform. So now if we just uh, bring the platform under a license, Creative Commons license for example, then uh, all these contents which will be uploaded there will be OER. And during this Congress here, we are speaking very much about uh, translation and cultural diversity. Yeah. So is this an issue in Bangladesh too? Yeah, this is not a big issue. Within the country we have a kind of common language. So we have Bangla is our common language and in the universities we use English in most of the universities. So we can take uh, the, uh, the OER in from international levels which are written in English. But for Bangla we have to translate it. So this is a big issue and some cultural issues are there also. So we have to address these things. And is there something like, like a task force for OER or who are the ones who are actually doing it? Is it uh, you or the team or who is it? Yeah, a, a team is working now. So it is a beginning in Bangladesh, you can think. So we uh, developed the institutional OER policy. Now the national OER policy is uh, in process. So it is a team. Uh, government officials, university uh, faculties, and some other media people. So we got a team. And uh, I am playing a role as a Q-Tip Commons uh, education lead in Bangladesh. So I am uh, with them. 
so it's a, it's a kind of a team spirit otherwise it will not work because you know uh, privately or as an institution we cannot uh, ensure that all of the all over the country uh, the we will be used or created by the people so government should have uh, some bigger initiatives so that's why we like to bring the government on board in every steps is there anything else we should know about or we are in bangladesh I think it's a it's a big mission for Bangladesh. If we can do it, because in Bangladesh, you know, one almost one sixty uh, three uh, million people are there, and even more. Huge. Yeah, it's a huge, and uh, the the people don't have access to education. So a lot of uh, people, uh, students, they cannot have, uh, they cannot buy the books because econ economically backward, and uh, some students they are disabled, physically disabled. So a lot of issues are there, and some are culturally disabled, and most important the females, uh, they are culturally backward because uh, they are forced to marry, or they are not allowed to come to the uh, uh, schools. So if we can introduce OER, it will be uh, very easy, and it will be a big jump for the country. Uh, in terms of having education, access to education, training, and as a whole, uh, the economy will uh, jump up because it's an emerging economy. We need a huge amount of human resource to support, to feed the economy, to feed the growth, and to feed the process of the economy. Thank you very much. Thank you. All the best for your work. It sounds like a huge potential for OER, and uh, yes, keep up yeah. the good work. Thank Thanks. you very much. Thank you. It's nice to yeah.